Welcome to this tutorial on how to use the Validation Assistant while preparing a rich registration. The aim of the Validation Assistant is to support users in the preparation of Euclid dossiers so that they can be successfully submitted to and processed by the relevant authority. The Validation Assistant carries out validations on the data provided in a Substance dataset or in a dossier. It verifies that information was provided correctly, according to the regulation requirements, and in a harmonized way. After creating a new Substance dataset, the first step is to identify relevant working context. For instance, in our video, we will use rich registration 1 to 10 tons. The system will display the relevant table of content, and you can now proceed to insert information on your chemical. This is the dossier header, in which the parameters of your submission are specified, like whether it is a joint submission, the tonnage bands, etc. Please note that a different validation outcome may apply, depending on the parameter selected in the dossier header. Remember to save once you add new information. Now we take a look at how to perform a validation of a dataset. Once you have indicated the working context, remember the validation is available to you through the whole preparation of the dataset. Click on Validate. Before the Validation Assistant report is displayed, you can see the dossier header, which you can update if needed. Validate. The Validation Assistant report lists the failures, their location, and the instructions on how to fix them. There are two tabs, Submission Checks and Quality Checks. Any failure reported under Submission Checks must be corrected for a successful submission. If these failures are not corrected, your submission will not be accepted by the agency. Whereas, Quality Checks warn you of common inconsistencies and shortcomings in your data. A warning can be fixed, while a reminder just reminds you to double-check the data, but as such might not disappear. In general, quality warnings will not prevent you from successfully submitting a dossier and obtaining a registration number. However, leaving quality warnings non corrected may lead to later clarification requests, and you are therefore advised to address them as far as possible. Let's take a look at one failure. Here you can see the failure message, which gives information on what is incomplete, with instructions on how to fix it. By clicking on each check, you will be directed straight to the incomplete document in the dataset through a sliding window. For instance, let's correct our first failure. We click on it. At least one role in the supply chain must be selected. So we select one of the options, save, and revalidate. If it is fixed, the failure will no longer appear. If there is no link to the document, it means that the required document is missing at the section level and you need to go back to the dataset to correct the failure, for example, by creating a record. Once you address all the issues in the dataset, you will not have any failure left in the Submission tab. And now you can create your dossier. To do this, let's go back to the dataset and click on Create Dossier. Now, run a Validation Assistant on the final dossier as well, since there are some rules only reported for dossiers. However, failures in the dossier cannot be fixed, so you have to go back to the dataset to fix them. Create a new dossier after and remember to validate it again. Remember to always run a Validation Assistant on both the dataset and the dossier. Then submit to the agency before addressing all the failures under the Submission tab. 